Good afternoon, I'm back, the sunglasses are back, and it's time to get angry in your face. The theme of my latest series of videos that's all about some short rants about some topics that make me particularly angry. Yes, I have been releasing videos sort of similar to that as of late, but this is a little bit different, more face-to-face -face like I used to do with you guys, and this is a particular topic that I I rant about all the damn time, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. And it is the whole situation with space debris, the amount of money that's being spent on building large constellations consisting of thousands and thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit, whereas the amount of money, the amount of effort that's being spent on trying to clean up the increasing problem of space debris and LEO is is just pathetic, the amount of effort that's getting be put behind this very, very important task, this vital project to the future of not only our future in exploring the solar system, in establishing more and more of a presence in low Earth orbit, cis lunar space, and elsewhere, it's our entire civilization, it's our economy, so much is based on what we have in low Earth orbit, and things are just going to continue to worsen as we continue to put more stuff up there without a clear plan to bring it down. And nowhere is this mismatched set of priorities more apparent than in NASA's recent decision to spend $287.5 million in funding for commercial operators to deliver the space agency's future satellite communications. Now, granted, this is going to be important, but also the importance of removing all of the potential debris that these constellations are going to create needs to be an important part of NASA's plan as well, and yet it isn't. Instead, NASA spent over $69 million on SpaceX's Starlink constellation, $67 million on the Kuiper solution, which hasn't even gotten started yet, and tens of millions of dollars on other satellite constellations that have yet to be deployed. Now, it's important to have these constellations, as the war in Ukraine has made it clear as of late, but still Still, the priority on trying to deal with the potential debris created by these massive groups of satellites has not been addressed and not been funded by NASA at all. The Space Force has provided a minimal amount of funding behind what you're looking at right now, the Astroscale and Orbit Fab solution, which would remove space debris and refuel satellites designed for that purpose in orbit so that reusability, responsibility, and sustainability could be achieved all in the same mission. And yet, this isn't happening, not even close, as I said before. One and a half million dollars is the second stage funding that the U.S. Space Force is providing for solutions like this one. One and a half million, as opposed to 67 million dollars for Amazon and 69.5 million dollars for SpaceX. Now, once again, SpaceX has proven the usefulness, the critical nature of these constellations to people in areas where internet access is not very easy, especially in Ukraine, but still, there has to be a long-term and balanced plan for these things, because even though these satellites are set up with systems to evade space junk and deorbit themselves, it doesn't mean that they aren't going to be incapacitated by pieces of space debris that we aren't tracking, and there are millions of them out there. And with every one of these satellites that gets incapacitated, it turns it into an unguided missile that can potentially bring down more satellites. These are things that need to be deorbited as quickly as possible once the problem arises. And yet, this isn't being properly funded, even though solid plans do exist. So what the hell do we do about all of this?
Well, in my opinion, it's going to take a small scale disaster and hopefully it will only be a small scale disaster, perhaps one or two satellites getting taken out in quick succession to get us serious about this problem. Or what could be far more tragic is an ISS astronaut out on an EVA getting struck by a piece of space debris traveling at several kilometers per second, tearing through a spacesuit or shattering a faceplate. It would would be a horrible tragedy if something like that were to happen, but it is very possible. And sadly, I feel it's going to take something like this before we really start seriously investing in cleaning up the problem that we have created in LEO, a problem that just gets worse and worse with each passing day. For what it's worth, I hope to hell I'm wrong. If you like this sort of content, if you want to see me in short form and face to face, please like, please subscribe, and there are ways to support me in the description. So until we get serious about solving the space debris problem in low earth orbit and actually address this issue before we put thousands and thousands of more potential unguided missiles up there, I urge all of you to stay angry about space.